Ethereum has always had a tough time handling lots of transactions at once. But then came the superheroes of layer 2 scaling solutions. They made Ethereum faster and cheaper with cool tricks like optimistic rollups and CK rollups. Now this brings us to Loom, so this is Loom explained in 60 seconds. Loom makes Ethereum even better by making it super easy for people to build stuff and use it. Loom Network is a platform as a service or PaaS. This is built on top of Ethereum and allows developers to run large scale decentralized applications. So here are three unique features of Loom Network that makes it stand out among other ETH scaling solutions. First, we have a custom consensus mechanism. Loom Network is like a super tool for Ethereum apps. It lets these apps use their very own special rules on sidechains. This is awesome for people who make apps because it means they can make their apps work just the way they want. Second, we have efficient scalability. Loom Network allows for dApps on the Ethereum network to grow bigger without any headaches. They use a special trick called delegated proof of stake sidechain to do exactly this. So third, developer centric ecosystem. Loom Network is like a playground for developers. What I have great tools and lots of help for making their apps. This makes it super easy for them to build and share their apps with everyone. So let's talk a little bit about the Loom tokenomics. Loom is the digital token that is used to pay for services on the Loom network and it is built on Ethereum in accordance with the ERC20 standard. The maximum supply of Loom tokens is fixed at 1.3 billion, while the circulating supply is at 1.2 billion, with a market cap of roughly $128 million. The Loom Network token Loom can be traded on the exchanges linked down below. Now that is Loom Network explained, please let me know what I should cover next in the comments down below. Peace.